Hey YouTube, it's Mitch at iPhoneCaptain.com. Today I'm going to be running you through free tweaks that I found in Cydia for iOS 8 for the Pangu jailbreak. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm just going to open up my Cydia and run through them that way in the under the installed option here. So that way I get them all and we don't leave anything out. The first one we're going to look at is called Acti Sound. And what this does, it allows you to actually add a sound to your gestures in in activator there's actually five different settings that you can choose so if you go to settings and go to active sound and you see right here i was sort of messing around with it just a little bit and you got five different files here and you can actually put your own sound files in here if you want to go ahead and create some it, it gives you the folder location and everything you need it only comes with one sound and this is it and if i triple press i'll get that sound and that's pretty much all there are to it you can set up five different gestures so check it out let me know what you think the next one we're going to look at here is called safe alarm how many times have you overslept because you forgot to turn the volume up on your i'll your iOS device for the uh, wake up of the morning well this eliminates that from happening all you have to do is enable safe alarm install it go to settings and here you will go ahead and adjust your alarm to whatever setting you want it to be whether you want it to be high medium or low that's going to be up to you and that's going to be the sound level for your alarm it will have nothing to do with what you set your ringer volume at or anything like that so pretty cool and it's called safe alarm the next thing we're going to talk about is called insta note and this is an instagram and we we'll open instagram up here and when the profile picture come up all you have to do is just tap on the little picture and you get a pop up here and you can enter a note about whoever you want and it will actually save that for you in your notes app and you can go back later on and check it out and remember to do whatever it was you was wanting to do the next app or tweak is called pull to respring and this is one that i really enjoy all you have to do is go to your settings and if you pull down in there and release it will automatically respring your device which i think is just a very awesome addition to ios of any version uh, respringing has always been something that we were lacking a a feature for so that takes care of that and that's called pull to respring the next one we're looking at here guys is called pref delete pref delete and what that does is it just a different way to delete tweaks without having to come in here and open one up and go to modify remove all that you can just simply go to settings and long hold on any of the tweaks that you want to remove say we wanted to remove cc settings we could just long hold on it we get the little pop up to uninstall but i'm going to hit no but that's just a cool fast way to uninstall your city of tweaks the next one here is called reach all and it actually adds the reachability feature to any ios 8 device besides iphone 6 and 6 plus which we know that that's what comes on them already you don't have to worry about enabling this reachability for them it's a feature on iphone 6 and 6 plus so if i go to activation i'm gonna go triple press and I'll have to reassign because I had that other deal going on. And now when I go to my springboard and triple press, I'm going to get my drop down on the screen here, you see, because that's what Reach All is doing that for me. It's allowed me to have that reachability feature inside iOS 8. Pretty awesome. So let's go back into our next is called Date in Status Bar. And that's pretty much all it does is it adds the the month and day of the month to your status bar you see november 8 up there beside the time i think it's just a, another way to see your date a lot quicker without having to open up the 
calendar app or anything like that if you're inside ios it just makes it very easy to look and glance up there and see the date right beside the time called date and status bar the next one we're looking at here is nested folders for ios 8 this has been a big deal you know a lot of people always was trying to hack to get this to work now we have a tweak for it but now don't think you can just put your apps in wiggle mode and then just pull a folder into a folder you can't work it that way you have to open up one folder and then drag and drop inside that folder like so see in here I have this folder and the way I got that folder was by dragging one app on top of another inside that folder to start with so that's how you have to set them up you can't just drag folders into folders and that one is called what was it nested folders for iOS 8 and looks like that's about all of them guys that I wanted to cover uh, I did a top 30 free tweaks and I covered a shitload so be sure to check it out I'll remember to put it in the description below so you can hit that up let me know what you think about these tweaks guys if I forgot one or you found one that we should include let me know in the comments and I'll be sure to add it to the next video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and keep coming back.